We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the banisher. Edith Keane. Miss Keane, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers, though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? Oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail, but right now we're tired and hungry. Are you back here alone? In the New World, I mean. No family back in England? There's no husband, if that's what you're asking, and I don't want one neither. I have a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk when I have all this shit? You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do? Find yourself a rich man and marry him. Ha! What's new? I'm sorry, sir. Too busy to talk. God will bless this place, but he needs us to do the work. You understand? Yeah, of course. I must go. Take care, sir. With God's help, we shall all see better days. You made it. Come up. I wish a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned... I'm in charge round here. Uh, Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Better than killing you for food, I suppose. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. 
Some think the beast got him. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the dark woods. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams... Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here. On the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out, making the rounds, hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone. She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? (laughs) Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would Thick Skin say? (laughs) She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. (laughs) 
There's a lock. I'm going to need a key. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher? How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye, only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Any kin to Edith? Aye, we're twins. Not that we're alike. She likes her stories, likes to hear herself talk. She likes a little drama, does Edith. Mind you, lately there's enough of it about. I was wondering, what brought you to the new world? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> a better life indeed. So, Daniel, what's new? I take it you have questions. Ask them. How are things going around here? You've got eyes, haven't you? Things are going to shite, and we're stuck in it. Even the dirt has given up. Look at it. Not a seed will sprout. But we won't give up. We'll work the soil till it gives, or we'll die trying. Satisfy my curiosity, if you would. What think you of Kate Newsmith? It's all show, isn't it? Her sister is the one with the real power. Kate's just a stripling beside her. Now, I suppose she means well, but hell is filled with them as meant well, so take no comfort from it. What can you tell me about thick-skinned Newsmith? I can tell you I followed her here. And I'd follow her further. Without thick skin, we'd all be dead in a day. With her, we're the hunters. Without her, we're the prey. Mind you, I wish she'd hurry up and figure us a way out of the shite we're in, because it ain't comfortable. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. Slept in was. And it smells better than Jacob Lind's lean to. The worst thing about Jacob Lind was not the smell.
There. Now we won't freeze. I won't freeze. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the Nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. These nails look brittle. Since the ripple of a past. What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. What kind of forge has no tools? That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. 